Whoa. 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 You are so creepy to me right now. Hi. What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another brand new series. This is a game called Californium. I really have very little of an idea of what to expect in this one. All I know is it's story-driven and pretty damn psychedelic. Uh, I'm going in blind, and uh, I hope you are too. We are going to dive into Californium with episode one right now. Okay. Yeah, I know you play a writer, maybe a failed writer in the 60s, and I don't know a whole lot more than that. Uh, from what I've looked at, it has a really cool style. It's set in L.A. Okay. One, two, three. Your loss crushes me. Four, five, six. Where are you, Alice? One, two, three. Scared of what I'll be. Four, five, six. We'll meet by the sticks. One, two, three. Your loss crushes me. Four, oh, five, six, where are you? I actually have to type this out, Alice. One, two, three. Am I just doing this endlessly? Scared of, this is a kind of a neat mechanic. Scared of what I'll be. Four, five. Six. Oh! We'll meet by the sticks. And that sounds like somebody at my door. Yeah, it is. Okay, Martian Mines. Past due bills. And you're getting your first real look at the world of California. It is trippy. What are those? Cigarettes? Shotgun shells? I don't know. WASD and the mouse, right? Sunglasses. 1960s Lennon style sunglasses late payment final notice this I guess is my LA bachelor pad I know there's somebody at the door oh cool I can see right outside cars going by yeah this game's got got a unique style to it got lots of booze on the table let's go see who's here there's the bathroom oh they're not here Elvin for years now Ever since we lost our little Alice, I shared my life with a stranger consumed by grief. Where did your dreams go? What happened to the elven green who wanted to offer his wonderful stories to the world? I'm leaving to escape the madness that is slowly killing you before it destroys me too. I'm leaving so that I can fight my own battles. I would have loved to have you by my side. Good luck, Elvin. T. So there's a little exposition. We lost a daughter, and because of the way we lost dealt with losing that daughter we lost a wife are we invited to go out into the outside world now i hope so no nope. okay oh there you go phone ringing where's the phone at keep it kitchen oh god it's probably right in front of me and i hey buddy it's don don i've been trying to reach you for two weeks now I'm right. still waiting on your copy for the radio ads. The campaign launches at the end of the month, and the clients want me to fire you to get your ass over to Weird Worlds on the double. Get your ass over to Weird Worlds on the double, okay. God, the soundtrack is a little stressful, too. The, that ringing noise while the world goes blurry? I guess all we gotta do is, is head out. Thea. Thea was the girl. T. Wow. This weird stuff is happening. I am tripping right out. Okay, get you. Wow. Was that like alcohol withdrawals or something? Who knows? Let's see if I can leave now. Nope. Get your ass over to weird... What was it? Weird Willy's World? Something like that. Cigarettes in the bathtub. That's kind of gross. Huh. Huh. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe it's back here. There is a light over here. Wow, these posters are wild. TV. The TV. That's what's making all the noise. 
That's Omega? It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Wow, narrator it's comes into the game. Writer's block. A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime store alcohol. Wow. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. No more than distant memories. Who'd want to live such a nightmare? Yeah. It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Incurable writer's block. A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime store alcohol. Yeah. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. You're repeating yourself. No more than distant memories. Who'd want to live such a nightmare? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. This game's tripping me right out. Whoa. You're new. What was that? Freak out. There was an Omega symbol over it, and now the TV's changed to have a 6 on it. I told you this game's trippy. I told you it's weird. And... Vaguely psychedelic. What's drawing me over here? Wow, the world's just changing. Look at that. It's a lamp. It's books. It's another... It's a speaker. It's glasses and... Weird. Weird. Do I leave my apartment? Freak out. Freak out. I'm freaking out. Thea, winter clothes. What? And a copy of Freak Out. Whoa. 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 I just opened a portal into... I have no idea. It looks like a different time and place, but in this apartment, maybe? I think that's a lot of what goes on in this game, is, is like holes like this opening into other parts of space-time. Now it's a V. Okay, it's counting down from six to five. I need to find another one of those holes. Weren't, weren't, wasn't there one here? There. Weird. That, oh, there you go. There you go. That's how you do it. And that's not just a hole into another. That's a whole new room. Can I enter? Yeah, where the hell am I? This is so strange. And we're down to four. Right, so there's four. There's one. Right there. Right there. Show me what you got. Didn't I see a Omega symbol over here? I swear I did. Maybe I have to wait for it to come back and click it. Here, this thing's back. This... Hmm. Of course it is. So unusual. There. Weird. Oh, I'm in a whole other bedroom. I'm in a... I wonder if I'm going back. Back to when I was with my wife, when things were good, when I was happy. We're down to three. I swear I saw a spot over here, by the front door.
I hope this game isn't a lot of this. Looking for weird things to click on and whatnot. Well, there you go. That's California flag. There's Abe Lincoln. What weird place is this? And I swear I saw one over there. This one I had to click from a distance, so maybe you have to get far from the front door to see it. TV say two, it does say two. Rolling Dice Diner. How do I advance the story? How do I go forward? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are so creepy to me right now. Hi. Look at how weird this old lady is. She is so weird. Just eyeballing me. Whoa. There it is. Okay. And this part of the house starts melting. Starts changing color. Revealing an old bookshelf and a lamp. What's it done on this side? Weird. One. One left. Where would that be? Where would that last symbol be? Maybe the old lady. Maybe it has to do with the old lady. You still there? If you have nothing to do with this story, you're really creepy. Come on, find me that last symbol. Whoa. Whoa. I think that's it. That's the sixth one. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Green. Wow. It looks like you can achieve something after all. How touching. But this is just the first step. Writing is a solitary vice. Are you ready to face the outside world? Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, this game... The narrator is starting to remind me of that from the Stanley Parable a little bit. Uh, and I obviously have a lot of love for that game. And it's about writing, which is something I, I do from time to time. We're stepping into this outside world, and that's the creepy old broad who was eyeballing me. There you are, Green. Not only do you owe me five months' rent, you don't even bother to answer my letters anymore. That's... I can barely get by on my small pension. Right. I have no choice but to evict you. How oh, you look like a bum. How oh, you look like a bum. Get off the drugs and find a real job, Green. Um, okay. So bad things happening for us, for Mr. Green. Uh, and where the hell do we go? We just wander out into this giant world? Is that a cop car? Can I take it? This, whoa. Whoa, watch yourself. God, this world is weird, isn't it? Diner's closed. Who are you? Talk to me. Hey, man, you going to weird world? You at sci-fi? Yeah, yeah. Sure takes imagination. I'll get you to read a short story of mine. It's about this dog and he thinks garbage men are aliens. <laughs> Maybe you talked to Don about it. I heard him yelling earlier. He was going berserk, baby. The guy seems like a real hot ass. 
Okay. Weird Worlds Publishing. Since 1961, and we got a record shop down here. Closed, I guess. But Weird Worlds Publishing, here we go. This music has got me amped up. I have no idea what to expect. Are you Don? Hey, Elvin. Man, you are a sorry sight. I'm still waiting on your first novel. That's right. You know, I've always been there for you, but we can't go on like this. I'm through with giving you advances to sit around all day sinking deeper into depression. I'd rather remain good friends and let you find another publisher. Look at me, Mr. Nice Guy, hooking <laughs> you up with advertising gigs, but you can't even write those. The radio ads for the astronaut Patty dolls? Nothing. Right. The ones for love lax laxatives? Nada. And yeah. Me, I have to refund the clients. Sorry, pal. But you're a writer who doesn't write. Too bad. Sci-fi is cool. Like that guy from San yeah. Rafael who wrote that novel about the freaks who live on Mars. I didn't get all Ray that. Ray Bradbury? The guy tripped me out. That's the kind of stuff I'd like to publish and freak out. Huh. Okay. We're a writer who doesn't write, and that obviously is an untenable situation. Whoa. We've lost our house, we've lost our job, and I've found another one of these Omega symbols. It seems as though there may be four spots in this office, or around the city, in this office for me to unlock. Guys, I think this will make a decent episode one of Californium. Thank you for tuning in, and I will be back with you with episode two in just a couple of days. TV. The TV. That's what's making all the noise. That's Omega? It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Wow. Narrator it's comes into the game. Writer's block. A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime store alcohol. Wow. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. No more than distant memories. <laughs>